This is the day you've all been waiting for. Welcome to another day with us here at JSH Rabbits. And today, we're going to a tour. So come with us, and you're going to see the fabulous things that JSH has created. As we said earlier, we're going to do a tour of the rabbitry. Following up from that video that we did last time, you will see what all of that work that we put in has led up to. All right, mm -hmm. so going inside. Come with us. All right, so we're heading. Yes, come to this side first. All right, so as you can see, this is our breeding board. Um, this shows a list of all the doors that we have and as you can see we, we number them based on cage and their ID numbers and this is just some information about some of the kids or some of the breeders that we're going to add into the stock. Um, we put the age, the date so that we can track our rabbits. So when you come to JSH rabbits, we have all the data on our rabbits. This is just a snippet of all the information that we have. You can just take a look. All right, so come to this side now. Um, these are our doors, our breeding doors. So each of them have their own cage. I'm going to fix this feeder, feeder right here. So each of our rabbits have their own cage. Um, they're separated, they're comfortable if you notice the size. They also have the watering system right here. As you can see, each of them would have that and it's attached to a tank that you cannot see now. Okay. Above the, the breeding doors, you can see a number of cages stretching along um, this line here. These are our kits, the babies. So normally, once the doors have the kits, um, once they're ready to be weaned, we take them and we put them in a specific cage. And you notice that the cages are numbered. So we don't mix up our, our, our kits. So each of them have a different number and we know where they come from and we know the breed and everything. So at JSH Rabbits, we're well organized. Um, come down this side here. And as you can see, we have um, this rabbit right here. If you notice its coloration, you notice its ears, look at it. All right, so this one has the traits of a California. Yes, so you see the dark colored ears and the nose and um, in some cases they have the dark colored feet also. Um, this one is molting, so it, it kind of not showing clearly. Right. Yes. All right. So, and if you come along, you'll see a variety of different breeds of rabbits. So we make note of the different breeds that we have. Right. Um, we have New Zealand right here. Right. Yes, so, ma as you can see, also some of these rabbits have kindled recently. Wow. So this is. How we actually Let me open it, yes. um, how we actually make our cages so the nest boxes are actually built in. So all we have to do is just insert a plastic sheeting and the doors will actually come in and kindle on on the plastic. Right. So those are our nest boxes. Right? So as we stated earlier, um, the bottom section is for breeders breeding those and the kids when they kindle upstairs is for the weaners and grow out and we also have a section that is dedicated to to bucks right there, there are a number of different breeds of rabbits down that side but we're not going to visit them today so we just want to show you some other rabbits on the other side of the, right. the structure here so as you probably will notice also, our rabbitry has a, a number of cages. We actually have about 108, there are about 108 cages. Um, 116 inclusive of the... Oh, of the box, right. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we have about 116 cages and it's 
This building is about 24 feet by 32 feet. Right, we put a lot of effort into the design and how it works, but of course, no system is without fault. Right, so um, along with our cages, each cage has a waterer and it's an independent feeder. It's independent feeder, right? As Morrison said, all of that is connected to a watering system or a reservoir, sorry. And you can see the tanks up there that come over to to the rabbitry. So that's the watering system, right? Um, we actually put in a few features that you know you see there are two levels so we put a little shoot on this right on the bottom of the cage is just to guide the waste from the top um, to prevent it from actually falling onto the rabbits below we actually have a concrete floor so the waste collects under there and we clean it periodically right because we don't want excess fly breeding and so forth all right box all right so while we don't normally keep the box um in the kit cages um our current box cage is not in the best condition it's down that side and if you notice in a previous video you might see us um, filming beside a cage that's the book cage that we're working on now mm -hmm. but these are our books um this is um a new zealand purebred new zealand this, we call this one powell mm -hmm. and we have um purebred california just beside um that one and um this one is topper top of the top and um, this one is a cross breed between um, New Zealand and Cali. We call it late. It was a late bloomer. Mm -hmm. Didn't want to work early. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But eventually it started to work. Yes, and we're, yes. we're very um, pleased. We're very pleased. And believe me, late has been doing such a good job. Yeah. It might be late, but. Better late than <laughs> yeah, never. Exactly. <laughs> and beside it, we have a New Zealand. I would just call it. Sorry, uh -oh. not a New Zealand, a Flemish. I would just call it um, New Flemish. It's hiding right now beside its feeder. We've actually been experimenting quite a lot with um, different different feeders and so forth because we realized that the rabbits have been wasting feed. So, you know, we've had to make different different feeders just to kind of combat that. But boy, <laughs> doesn't seem like we found the right fit just yet but you know we're working on it and eventually eventually we will get there i don't think we'll eliminate the wastage totally but you know we're working on it so this section that we're in right now is just a little work area that um we use we use it to make our feeders and any other little little stuff that we might need for the rabbitry um temporary office space <laughs> temporary office space um Workshop. artificial insemination station yeah, we're, 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 uh, everything. everything this is where the magic happens really right there. right and behind that um, where you see the green drums that's where we actually store our feed and there are two feed companies in jamaica currently neutramix and high pro and we prefer to actually use the the neutramix right yes yeah right um, notice board you show them the notice board. oh yes. no i didn't yeah so this one is just a little notice board that we use to um jot down any little information that um we need to we have a person who who does feeding and so forth for us when we are not there mm -hmm. so any little information that we might need to leave any notes we, we put it on this notice board we also have a, a little procedure that we should follow when we are working in the rabbitry we call it our own 
um, rabbit SOP. Right, standard operating procedures. But to be honest, we haven't been following that. From for, the other day. Yeah. From, from <laughs> the would, other day. Yes, we need to get that out again, you know? Right. And start working. Um, we've actually changed how we do things a lot. So that operating procedure is now pretty Absolutely. much yeah. Yeah. invalid. So we need to update that. Um, this is a clipboard that we use. Um, it basically keeps track of all our breeding, right? So we number the cages, as we said earlier. We ID each rabbit, and once we breed a rabbit, information goes here to be input later in a program which we call Hutch. Um, it's a very helpful program that we use to manage our operations and trust me it has allowed us to become very efficient in our breeding and monitoring looks like. so this is Hutch right we probably need to do a video separate and apart from that but we will we will get into more details as to Hutch and what it is and the benefits of actually using it okay now all right so we actually have quite a few more rabbits in in this section we have a blue here but you know be, due to the fact that the lighting isn't the best um you're not going to see the coloration so well have another rabbit that kindled here this rabbit actually kindled 12 yes 12 and they were all alive so we had to foster a few of them with some other other mothers right so we have a lot of different breeds here um check but here's a checkout yeah, here's a checkout over here but right now because we are focused on meat we are trying to put forth the New Zealand and the Californians more since those are the preferred meat, meat breeds. Okay, so the main reason for filming this video is to share with all other potential farmers or farmers what is it that happens on JSH rabbit so that you can learn the do's and the don'ts. If it is that you see something that you like, imitate. If you see something that you don't understand, call us, look us up on Facebook, comment, and we will respond. Despite all that, um, no rabbit tree is perfect and neither is this one. So since utilizing it, we realize that um, there are some things that we probably should have done dif differently. So that's something that we need to look into. So if we decide to expand, we need to do things a little bit differently. And we, we are looking to expand. Yes, we definitely <laughs> are looking to expand. Um, one of the ways we learn is through experience. We've been through quite a few things. Oh, and, and we've learned a, a lot, a whole lot. Yeah, we've learned the do's and don'ts of rabbit rearing. A lot of don'ts too. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of don'ts. So, um, it takes a lot of work. It's not as easy as we initially thought. It takes a lot of record keeping and all type of things just to do it the right way. And, um, you know, easy. That's it. Long story short, it's not easy. So, um, that's it for the tour, really. Amen. So, all right. It was so, a pleasure having you guys today. Definitely. Definitely. So, um, you know the drill. You guys can continue to follow us um, on the like, channel. Subscribe. Yeah, man. Like, subscribe, share our videos. Yes, man. And as always, see you next time. Peace.